Live Rome Party Studio. Live Jerome Harden Studios. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the last of my discast. I will say about so you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll see you later. What's up on JR? You sure alright? Let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to Season 10, Episode 2 of my newscast. Um Today, I am taking a walk on this new greenway right here, which starts off at the bridge at Ditto Landing. So, this is what this newscast is going to be about. Um, they developed, they're recently um, developing this greenway um, along the Tennessee River. Um, you see these beautiful trees and shrubbery along this greenway. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, let me tell you the story um on how this greenway thing started hey so um i read it on the news online um and it was on uh whnt news 19 and boy do i have a lot to tell you about this greenway um so before all of this is getting developed it was just a grassy walkway um if you have ever been through the trails in the woods um where it's um very wooded no gravel just a uh, dirt um walkway and all that stuff um you know there are nine or ten greenways in huntsville and uh i think i believe this is going to be the 11th um so let me tell you what's going on last year when i um came to deal landing um the pavilion to work on my projects and stuff um i saw this lady and her group talking about um giving out flyers pamphlets all that stuff about the singing river trail and what the singing river trail is is that um they are wanting to connect several greenways in the Huntsville City area, Athens, Decatur, and the surrounding cities around Huntsville. Um, I thought this greenway right here um, is going to connect the Decatur to Decatur. Um, I just looked it up um, last year online and stuff and see how far this pathway would go because. I really imagined and thought that it would lead to uh, the city of Decatur. But when I talked to one guy um, in a truck that was passing through, that was um, part of his team that was building this greenway, um, I asked him, is this pathway is going to go all the way to Decatur? He said, no, no, no. It's going to um, go right to Hayes Farm, um, which is um, currently being developed right now. Um, it's gonna head west, um, head through a wooded area, um, and then it's gonna turn right in the wooded area. It's gonna head back to the arsenal and stuff, back to Hayes Farm. Um, I have a map of uh, that um, gonna lead this pathway back to that to that uh, developing area. So, um, and uh, I just uh, drove to the other side of it I'm, I mean I didn't drive um, to this pathway of course um, this plant pathway is blocked off to all vehicles except uh, bicycles and pedestrians so yeah that used to be a very wooded area there used to be trash everywhere all this stuff so you know there's you know animals such as deer possums um, sometimes I don't know what's been going through here some of my foxes uh, beavers you know, ain't no telling what kind of animal has been through here. So, um, yeah, there's the Tennessee River right here. You can't see it yet. But once we, um, walk up a little further, that, um, it's going to be a very beautiful scene. And, um, uh, you know, I go to you know, the Gutterville Lake every summer just to, for the water. I mean, it's just not for the wooded area and stuff. I mean, of course, you can get in the water here, but you're going to have to do a lot of climbing on the rocks and stuff. 
and that's what I do all the time um, every time I want to go in the water You yeah, see all these developing right here, um, and then after we take this walk right here, um, we're going to go to a very woody area. But you might may be careful because you go that way, you go into a woody area. Sometimes there are puddles. You know, it's very muddy, very slick. So if you happen to um, head that way, sometimes just to take a hike or a walk, you might have to be careful because that right there it can be very muddy and you know you can get your foot stuck in there you know you know who knows what's going to happen there may be dangerous animals that try to bite you and all this stuff you just have to be real, really be careful on how you proceed um yeah so all right very beautiful scenery and uh I mean, sometimes I think, you know, um, I really hope that they just extend this walkway um, all the way to several cities. Um, and if they do, it'll be wonderful. It's just like getting people to exercise, all that stuff. You know, I mean, so far they did a good job. I mean, when I first walked through here, when they, when they first developed it, it was kind of rough uh, walking through here. You know, it was very rocky. You know, I can barely walk. But, you know, before all this uh, stuff was put down for this greenway, um, it's kind of like uh, it was all grass and stuff. A grassy uh, pathway. You know, it was, a, it was a beautiful scenery. You know, they cut all these uh, this vegetation down. Um, just have to be really, really careful walking through. Doesn't, um, make sure I don't disturb anything. You know, it was around the winter time when I, um, I have several pictures of it when I, um, first walked through this pathway. And I frequently, uh, walked through this pathway to see the progress of it. Um, and, uh, right now, um, I don't see, uh, much progress right now. Um, I don't see no construction workers. I don't see no vehicles. I don't see no, um equipment nothing and all of a sudden they just left and just you know left the greenway in the hades or something so and i just read in the article they said they're going to open sometime in fall 2021 uh, and uh i seen the other side of it when i was driving on the other um on the other side of it you know they got all that vegetation down too and i just you know looked on google maps and i um seen that pathway too so if um if my calculations are correct if my mind is correct that you know that similar path that I'm showing you right now is going to be the green light that leads back to Hayes Farm I mean it could be a well, there used to be a whole, whole area right there where people would be fishing and stuff um uh, I guess you can climb down there, you know, I think it's kind of difficult to climb down there when you, um, when you, uh, when there's no rocks and stuff, you know, kind of very difficult. And of course, I you have to be careful on these rocks too, because there's obviously snakes that be coming out of these rocks too. So, if you, every time you clip Going down these rocks, you just have to be careful not to fall. You know, be sure to be looking out for snakes too, you know. Yeah. So far they did a very fantastic job right here. Yeah. And all this stuff down. You know. I don't know when they'll be back. Hope they'd be back soon, you know. You know, maybe they're trying to work on extending this uh, pathway or something. You know, if they do, it'll be wonderful. Where, you know, and here's 
Is this is this charger even working right here? Hmm. This, yeah. What kind of charger is it anyway? Hmm. It may work or it may not work. Somebody dropped that, but hey, finders keepers, losers weepers, right? But, huh. People be leaving stuff out here for real. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I'm gonna take this back with me. Just got a free charger right here, so how about that? Yeah. But um and there's another there's a small lake on the right right here. Um is that an animal I see right there? I see, I see something moving over there. But yeah. Once we go to the woody area, um, and then you know, I can show you the the nicest part of Dizzo Landing right here. Um, so, and I the reason um, I um, named these title um, LG's Walk Greenway or however you pronounce it and stuff. Well, um, because this pathway is going to go straight into the woods. It's going to turn right, and then it's going to lead back to Hobbs Road, the rest of Arsenal, and it's going to go back to Hazeland Road. I hate St. Road names. And, um, uh, go head, head back to Hayes Farm. And of course, when I took a right right here this time, um, when you go to the small lake and stuff, um, I saw a snake popping out of the rocks and stuff. So, like I said, you have to be careful when you're stepping on these uh, huge rocks because that's where snakes like to hide because they are looking for shade and stuff. And there's a plain space for them. So, just every, every time uh, that you um, step on these rocks, you just have to be really, really careful on um, how you proceed because, you know, I ne of course, I've never been bitten by a snake before, but i seen when people get bit, you know, some, this shit could hurt. We're approaching the lake right here. Um, you know, in this um, time right here, when... Uh, I rode my bike through here one time, you know, it didn't have the proper size tires that it needs to get through these rocks, but it was kind of a rough ride that, you know, when you uh, accelerate or you pedal and stuff, you know, sometimes it could be very rough. And, you know, I wanted to show you guys the lake right here. Um, some, like I said, um, you step on these rocks, you have to be really, really careful. Uh, you know, this pathway driving up to, to go through here. I think we I guess we can. Well, there's a little water right here. So, you know, I don't even have my boots on. I just have sandals on. So, flip-flops or whatever. But, here goes nothing. You know, there's a snake. That just, you know, popped up through here. They scared the crap out of me one time. You know, just have to be really, really careful. You know, and it look like, huh, okay, it kind of looks like a nesting for, you know, animals and all that stuff. Um. Uh, Be careful. It looks like we're going, I'm going to make it right here. But there's a beautiful butterflies flying through here. Yeah. yeah. This area is getting developed, right? See all these trees. Look at this hidden lake. It's very beautiful. Very beautiful. Of course, you know, 
has that typical like smell of Alabama. You know, people. I see a very good handful of people fishing through here. And you can see the little tiny fish right here swimming. Um, I don't know. I never seen anybody that caught a fish before. So, oh. Yeah, just seen there's more fish right here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know there was a fish right here. Um, okay, so. Hmm. Damn. Ooh. Well, probably not going to take that risk, but here's what I wanted to show you, you guys. Um. The hidden lake that I never seen before. I just recently discovered this lake um, back in December of last year. So, I mean, that was like um, four months ago, back in December of last year. So, yeah, just wanted to show you guys uh, the lake and stuff. But let's continue with our walk. Um. So, back when I did a real nature show segment, um, it was um, almost nine years ago when I was uh, recording that um, graduation party. When I uh, graduated high school, um, you know, I was having a picnic, uh, dancing with some friends, having a good time and stuff. Um... It's a good thing that, you know, I'm celebrating my 10th anniversary so I can go back on videos um, that I did. And most of these videos back in the time frame of 2011, 2012, 2013, something like that, I never, I didn't see these videos for years um, until I recently touched them um, back a few weeks ago. So... That lets me know that I haven't, you know, touched these uh, kind of videos in years. So, it shows me that um, how much I've grown, how much I've changed and all that stuff. And people still throwing trash everywhere. So, but hopefully they get done with this uh, greenway soon. Um, and once we uh, proceed to the woody area, I'm going to show you these kind of rocks that I was talking about that... Um, having a rough time walking through because you know they were so big you know uneven you know and before they put this all down um it would rain a lot here um around in january recently snowed um back in january i mean february i mean and people really couldn't go out you know up north uh such as philadelphia new york and all that stuff chicago um People can still drive. People still go to school when it's still snow. More than two inches. You know. Cities like that get a lot of snow. And people are required to go to school. Go to work and all that stuff. Down here. They close down everything. Because. We do not have enough equipment. Enough material. To get these roads treated. And. Um, they uh, couldn't drive through the snow. I mean of course. I did that one time. And my first time, boy, oh, it was a real challenge, all right. You know, I could, I could barely drive through the snow. So, that's why I stay at home, walk when I can, you know. And I wish I could uh, walk through the snow again. Because I didn't get the full experience of sn seeing snow when people are having snowball fights. Uh, fighting um, through the woods. Uh, building snowmen and stuff. I mean... That's the kind of experience I want to see pe when people are building through snow. Um, and snow cones, of course. I never had sn uh, snow uh, snow cream. That's why I meant to say snow cream. I never had it kind of treat before. But, you know, people say they had tried snow cream. And they say they tasted good. So, if it ever snows again in Huntsville, I definitely will like to try some. So, 
but you know it's very beautiful you know everything's starting growing you know I mean trees are growing and stuff you know and of course I took several pictures um of when they were developing this uh, greenway um I read it I went to you know um, the central office here at this park um I seen this uh, development map um, they supposed to be developing another park over here but I don't think in my opinion you know they shouldn't be doing all that you know just to try to destroy nature and all that stuff because as beautiful as it is right now I mean if people want to exercise get the full nature experience they shouldn't have to build all these buildings and all this stuff, you know, try to disrupt the natural life cycle. I mean, as beautiful as it is, I mean, you know, building developments and all that stuff, it takes away, you know, the natural beauty of nature, you know. And, um, the Monoceno, um, like I said, back in 2012, that's the only time I, uh, recorded, uh, made it newscast about Montesano is you know I was doing a picnic with my friends and all that stuff but um like I said uh when I do go back I'm going to take you deeper in the woods and I'm going to try um and do more nature shows you know because you know some people like nature some people like all kinds of different stuff so um Let's, um, so, let me tell you this, if I ever do a nature show again, the next one is going to be, um, at Montesano, um, if they do extend this greenway, um, I will, you know, take you through it again, you know, if it extends into the Kitter City limits, I mean, that would be great too, um, I just have to find some way to mount this camera and take you on the full experience. Um, but I don't know if they are really going to do it or they might not do it. They may do it, they might not do it. But we'll have to see about that because, of course, I mean, I don't, I don't control this development. I mean, the city of Huntsville do and the developers do, so whatever they want to do with it, um, hope it they can make it happen. Uh, I do see, did see in the comments that, you know, that they want this greenway extended. So, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, I'm sad to see all these uh, shrubbery come down to, you know, make this greenway, but we'll still, do we still need the trees uh, to do, to make papers and stuff. We still need the papers, you know, to do a lot of important stuff, so yeah. See all these trash right here. Every time I come through here, I see the crystal, crystal cups, you know, crystal wrapping paper, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah. So that lets me know they haven't been over here in quite a good amount of time. So, yeah, you know, and this is the part where I'm talking about right here. Um, I'll, when we come back, I'll, sh um, I think, actually, I th think I'll show you that next time I walk through here. Uh, but, well, I felt something on my foot, but anyways, uh, you know, it's kind of a rough path right here, you know. Like I said, I see, uh, people biking through here already, um. But, you know, even though it's under construction, you know, people still walk through here. Uh, you know, back, I think it's back in late February or March or something like that when, uh, when, you know, they, last time they were over here. So, um, but, well, hopefully it doesn't get, does have a big pole where it won't let me through here but if it does I mean if it's not that you know a big of a puddle and I can walk through here then I can show you the rest of this pathway 
So, um, yeah, so, hopefully you like this, uh, nature walk that I'm taking you guys on. Um, you know, a very wooded area, you know, ah, uh, but, came to my mind too. Um, I think, and I just recently saw this yesterday, I think the reason they're not extending this greenway because of Redstone Arsenal, because if they do extend this pathway, it can, it definitely will go into the Arsenal, and you know, Redstone Arsenal is a army post, um, and, uh, Sometimes it can create a lot of problems when, you know, you're going through that post and all that stuff. It's not gated properly. Uh, well, yeah, of course. So, hopefully they can work around through that. But, here's another, that's another reason, too, you know. They have a lot of problems they have to work with, you know. A lot of obligations, you know. It takes a lot of work, you know, to get this um, greenway developed. You know, it's just not, it's just not the labor and cost and all that stuff. You just have to talk to people that own several properties of it that you're running it through. So, you know, sometimes it can cost more. You know, you have to sign documents, all that stuff. You have to get, you know, pay a lot more money, you know, for the screenway. I mean, it takes a lot of time, practice, you know, spending on all that stuff. Um, you have to have a plan to do it, um, well, you know, it just, you know, you don't want to spend all that money all at one time, um, but, um, like I said, uh, hopefully, um, they, uh, talk it out with, uh, with a plan and all this stuff, uh, so, yeah, and, you know, these kinds of rocks right here, they can be big enough to make your fall off uh, a little less pleasant than it's intended to, so, um, yeah, all right, but, you see, I see all these trees growing back, um, uh, like I said, you know, when I first walked through this, uh, pathway, I see a deer, you know, definitely see a deer walking through here, so, you know, seeing little, uh, animal footprints and all that stuff. See, look at this. Very beautiful out here. That's nine years ago when I, that's the last time I reported something like this, for real. Um, so. Okay, so. Very beautiful. Spring times here, you know. Woo, shit, I thought something stung me, for real. But, yeah. That's the cons of nature right here. You don't know what hits you. And you get stung, so. Of course, you know, I didn't have the right, right, right gear. I do have sandals on. Flip-flops or whatever. I sit, keep saying sandals. Um, let's see. And this is the area I was talking about right here. I'm trying to see if I can get around it and stuff. But if not, oh well. It is, you know, I think I can. You know, I went through that, you know, dry part of this, you know, path last time to get through here, so let me see if I can get through this time. Huh. Okay, so I see bike tire tracks all along through here, so uh, you know I seen definitely seen some people seen definitely seen bike tracks going through here so probably we make it can make it right here. It's hard enough or if it is. Ooh, yeah. So, I need to hurry up and get this thing um developed. Get all these um uh, get all these gaps filled, so you know it won't be so much standing water. That because that's a that's where a lot of snakes like to get water at. You know, a snakes a large, large snakes can get through here. Of course, this is the south. So, and Florida has a lot of alligators and. If you go through the woods in Florida, ain't no telling you can find yourself running into. You can find yourself run to a lot of trouble with shit like that going on. So, yeah, look at that. I'm getting through here.
and I'm in. I'm definitely on the other side now, so we probably can continue with our walk and stuff. So, well, I've been through here several times and with no problems and stuff. So definitely, we can continue through our walk. And you know, this is a very interesting newscast for some of you that like nature and all this stuff. Alright, let's continue with our walk. Okay. And I don't know if this uh, greenway is going to split, you know. Ain't no telling, you know. There's trees left right here. Um, You know, there's a little path of what? A little puddle of water right here, you know. All these trees cut down right here, so. Let's continue. I just have to be careful, you know. In shaded areas like this, it still can... Still can be muddy, still can be slippery, you know. And, you know, I just have to watch my surroundings. You know, it haven't rained like this in a while, you know. It rains on here and there, but be dry enough, you know. Probably would take, take a very long time. Uh, usually takes less than 30 minutes to... 31 minutes to uh, get through here, but since it's been over 30 minutes now, it's just because I was talking and sh explaining and showing you guys what they have done so far as far as this uh, greenway stuff. You know, and of course, uh, they uh, cut some of these trees down to make a pathway that, you know, goes off the greenway and all that stuff. I don't know where it's going to lead to. Um, but, uh, if you're going that way, um, that's going towards the arsenal right here. That's what the stuff I was talking about. Um, but, hopefully they, phew, damn, look at that. Hopefully they negotiate. Um, first, when I first saw, what kind, what is that right there? Whew, smell, smells too. Well, that's the beauty of nature anyway. Beautiful butterflies. Wish they could leave all these trees alone. You know, that's what I don't want. You know, you don't want the don't want the nature experience, natural experience part to be ruined. You know. Look at that right there. It's all cutting all this down. Yeah. It's a good thing this uh, part that I was talking about right there was dry enough to let me get through. So, you know, I can let you guys know, you know, what's been, you know, been developing around here in Huntsville. Uh, you know, and back mm, in 2018, I decided to take a to uh your break from newscasting to work on my graphics a little bit more um but you know with this coronavirus and stuff going on people getting their taxes back you know i just recently got my stimulus check where i desperately need it but you know it's helping me get caught on caught up on everything so you know i won't have to worry about the graphic stuff too much developing logos you know looking for work on developing people's logos and stuff so Definitely, um, if you don't see me um, posting my logos and all that stuff in a while, you know, just know I just took a break from all that stuff. And, you know, I'm just trying to relax, trying to, you know, breathe a little bit, you know, trying to, you know, experience life a little more. So, you know, I won't have to be worried on, you know, too much of this stuff at one time. So, yeah. Well, but, you know, it's good to, you know, 
when you have, have your own business, people be helping you out and all that stuff. I do have um, some several more topics I want to talk about, such as, you know, the PP loan and stuff. Um, you know, I just re read um, on Facebook on the article that, you know, people are doing frauds, you know, using it on, uh, using a lot, spending a lot of money on it, you know, using it for uh, personal expenses, like, you know, and I just read read it on uh, on Facebook that this lady is doing, you know, she took out a lot of money. She took out three point seven million dollars, you know, not just for her business. It's not wasn't for her business that was she intend to use it for. Um, she's using it for you know to buy you know purses, buy house luxury houses, I should say, you know. Buying in purses that are eighty thousand dollars. You know, she trying to live. She trying to act like a celebrity or something like all these uh, celebrities that you know be buying expensive stuff. But you know, she was if she if I had that kind of money right now. But I'm I was blessed, you know. But if I had that kind of money right now, the first thing I would do is I act like I'm still broke. You know, just use that money. You know, to pay myself one bit of a t at a time you know but definitely I'm not gonna be spending a lot of money at one time you know because you know you know the, them people be on that shit really fast so yeah yeah so Here's the Tennessee River again. Very beautiful, you know. And I believe it was supposed to be raining today. It's all that stuff. But for some reason, it's not. It's very sunny, you know. It was uh, kind of cold, you know, when I first left my house. But it's gradually warmed up a bit. So and you see me right as you see me. I'm sweating a little bit. There's a little log right here. Whew. Hmm. Well, some people have definitely been walking through here. See a lot of cigars. You know, there's a blanket right here. 37 minutes into this newscast. So, um, and of course, you know, Takes a really long time if you uh, but they do extend to the KFC limits. You won't have to worry about walking through the interstate, walking through highways, risk getting hit by cars. You know, you know, you can just have a peaceful walk. You know, without having to worry about all that stuff. You know, but it's a. I guess it's a good thing about the developing this greenway. I guess you know, because you know. Get the full wood experience and all that stuff. But hopefully, we'll reach the ending soon. So, you know. Yeah, look at that. Very beautiful. And sorry I keep repeating myself, but. Last time, you know, I walked through here, you know, it's still, um, you know, there are no leaves on the trees. You know, it's still winter when last time I walked through here, you know, since it's springtime, you know, once summer rolls around, you know, a lot of animals. Is that a snake? Oh, no, it's not a snake. I was about to say, damn, it's a very long snake here. Wow. You know. Yeah. Especially when you don't have no boots on. You know, Alabama right here. Feeling, you know, people dump their, you know, 
waste right here too. Like, you know, people be catching fish and all that stuff. That's why I recently smelled too. Mm. But, and look, oh, there's another pathway right here. I keep forgetting every time, you know, I leave this greenway and all this stuff. I leave the wooded area, you know. I just forget, you know, what the pathway leads to. But, uh, the grass growing right here, um, you might want to be careful if you're walking through here. That's where, um, snakes like to hide, you know, in shaded areas like that. You know, uh-oh. -uh. Oh, what's this right here? A hole right here? Well, oh, better not mess with that, because there might be some animal in there. Yeah, so you can definitely tell they haven't touched this area in a while. You know, they haven't been back here since, you know, a while ago. You see animal footprints right here. Hmm, you know. The vegetation started to grow back up really quickly, you know, and it'll cover things, so, you know. Well, I mean. So, hopefully they'll be back soon, you know. Because. Vegetation grows back, you know. I wouldn't be back here if I was y'all, but you know, it's y'all choice. I mean, unless you have um, wearing boots and stuff, and you have hunt out here a lot. What is this right here? I see something right over there. I don't know what that is. Oh, let's see if I can zoom in some right here. Uh, yeah, you see that right there, right here, over here. I don't know what that is. Um, it may be something from the arsenal or whatever, but you know, I don't want to go through all that, all that trouble to do to do that. Um, so I better, you know, leave that alone. So. There's another hole right here. Uh, you know, just, uh, you know, it's best for you not to touch it, because it may be, you know, someone's house. Ooh, and there's another dumping right here. Ooh, I hear a mosquito too. So, I keep forgetting, you know, mosquitoes live out here too. Even if it's, it's, it's cold, you know, you get back into the furries at night. So... When it's summertime, you know, mosquitoes be out active mostly in the summer. So, you know, when you walk through here, your skin can be, get very itchy, you know, due to mosquitoes be flying around and stuff. Sometimes they can bit you and you're not even knowing it. Whoa. Yeah, you know, like I recently said, uh, people be out here hunting for deers and all that stuff. Um, so, see, pump a man walking out here 
one time with hunting gear. Hmm. And you know, this is the grassy part I'd be talking about. It used to be, you know, you know, you know, uh, people development through here, but since the grass is growing back mighty active quickly, you know, just might want to be careful before, you know, vegetation gets too high again, so. Just had to look down for snakes and stuff. And this is where the greenway is supposed to be turned right at. Yeah. Well, I can tell much, not much work is done on it. So, you know. Well, look at that. See a black spot right here. You know, I definitely know some of them be camping out here. You know, they building a the fire and all that stuff. You know, see that black uh, part. What the hell is that right there? That a fish right there? No, I think it's just wood and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, that's just wood. But, you know, yeah, I can definitely tell people have been capping out here. They're making fires and all that stuff. Hey, yeah. You know, this is, you know, the... It's all this stuff is growing back right now, so... Definitely want to be careful, you know, you're going to travel that way, so, but, yeah, this is, this part right here, the arsenal and all this stuff, you know, they don't want people going through here without passing, so, you know, you do that, you know, people can easily get through the arsenal, going through that wooded area, so, but it's what's supposed to be a gated community, so, yeah, so, just want to be very, very careful out here. You know, wish me luck, guys. And I'm going to end this newscast here. And I hope you all, y'all like this, you know, nature walk experience that I took. You but you know, look at that, very beautiful. Um. Grass. Oh, look at that. There used to be a sign right here, too. I guess they took that down, huh? Or someone might stole it. But, yeah. But, um,. Well, I think I can walk down a little more. Let's see what happens here. You know, so far I don't see any stakes for the entire nature walk. Which is kind of good, I guess. You know, I didn't see any deer either. Just a little, a little more steps, you know, I can end this newscast from here. But this is where the green is going to go. 
Hopefully they build a bridge or something, you know, over this lake. I'm. Here. Oh, here's the, here's the sign that I was talking about right here. Let me go, walk a little closer, so you guys can see uh, all the trees and stuff. But definitely see some footprints here. But here, yeah. see, look at that. U.S. Army. Installing. Ooh, mosquito. No trespassing. But ooh, mosquito out here. So definitely time for me to get out here. Hurry up and get out here real fast before mosquitoes have me for lunch. So this is where the greenway is going to. But I gotta end this newscast really quickly. But uh, like I said, guys, um, sorry for the cutoff right here. But um, my uh, storage space is running out. But you know, but I still have a few uh, space left on uh, my internal part. So um, I'm about to end this newscast right here. Like I said, I hope y'all enjoy y'all nature walk. Um, well, you know, hopefully they get finished with this soon. But um, yeah. So once again, I'm Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. I'm out. Peace.